Good evening and welcome. My name is Pastor Jonathan Connor. I am pastor here at Zion. I'm very happy to welcome you this evening to celebrate with our preschoolers. Uh, thank you for supporting them throughout the year and walking with us through the most atypical year I've ever experienced, probably you as well, but it's been a joy to welcome these kids throughout the year and to celebrate Jesus with them. That's really what we're about at Zion, is the privilege of sharing Jesus with your children, your grandchildren, and with you. So we have that privilege every week. I love the opportunity to visit with them. I get hugs from them every week. We share Jesus. We pray together. I give them the Lord's blessing. That's a real, real privilege. Uh, on behalf of Bridget and Janice, I say thank you. And we'll have opportunities a little bit later in our program to say thank you to them because this is their final year for both of them. And we are very grateful to God for the service that they've provided to Zion, to Zion Preschool, to the community. And we'll have opportunity to say thank you to them in just a few minutes. Uh, I also want to point out on the back of your program, our Vacation Bible School is coming up in just under a month. And so there is a link at the bottom, or you can scan the QR code either way. You can register online. It's super easy to do. There are also paper forms out in the fellowship hall. You can pick up a paper form if you'd prefer, but it's all online, super easy to do. We'd love to welcome your kids for a week of VBS here at Zion, and that's June 7 through 11. Uh, when we're done, we invite you to hang around for cupcakes and for, um, I believe each child gets a balloon and a present, so make sure you hang around for that, but I know Bridget will have more to say about that. So uh, let me see if I can get their attention. As soon as they are ready, they're going to start marching in. I believe there's music that's going to be involved. Why don't we open with a word of prayer, and then we'll see if they are ready to go. Let's pray. Lord God, we give you thanks for the gift of these children. What a blessing they are to us, and the scriptures say, through the mouth of babes, to the mouth of children, you've ordained praise. And we see that. They testify to their creator and the giver of life. And we have that life in you and ultimately in your son, Jesus. We give you glory this evening and pray your blessing be upon these children, their parents, their families, and uh, through them that, that the blessing received here in the name of Jesus would spread into our community and beyond. We give you all thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, preschoolers, if you're out there, come on in. Oh, I think I hear some music. Oh, we're good. All right, I think they're finally ready. Like herding cats. <laughs> okay, boys and girls.
All right, good job, boys and girls. Thank you all for coming tonight. Um, if you don't already know, I'm Mrs. Gore. I'm the teacher director here at Zion. And this is Mrs. Nemet. She's collecting the, all the musical instruments right now. And she's the uh, paraeducator for Zion. Uh, as you can see, we all like to play instruments. And we wanted to share that with you tonight. Um, we are going to, once we get all the instruments collected, we're going to do a group picture, if you want to get that. So um, I'll get down, and we'll give them just a few minutes so you can get a good group picture. Make it quick, because their attention span's only about... So, okay. All right. Okay, we're ready. All right, everybody, smile. Say cheese. Say cheese. Hold nice and still. Hold nice and still. I hope everybody got their picture. All right. So the boys and girls learned many things in preschool this year, but we're going to sing two songs about some of the most important things that we wanted them to learn this year. Okay, boys and girls, get your hands ready. Good job, boys and girls. Okay, we're going to have you guys sit down front here, okay? Come take a seat. Come take a seat. Crisscross applesauce. Uh oh. Go sit down and put it on. Come take a seat and put it on. Okay. Time to sit down with your friends. Okay, we're going to be presenting the certificates now. You got yours? Is it 
this one? I got it. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> Okay, hold it nice and close. Hello? <laughs> okay, hi everyone. I just want to thank you all for coming to. Last year we could not have our closing program due to COVID. So this year we're really excited to be able to do so. It has been a different year with COVID and all, but we are so glad that we got the chance to spend the time with your children this year. As most of you know, this is my last year teaching at Zion. I started at Zion eight years ago with Deb Fink, who encouraged me to get my paraeducator degree. I was pretty excited when I held the college diploma in my hands at almost 60 years old, I got a diploma. After Deb passed away, I worked a year with Alyssa Reesberg and then five years with Bridget Gore. I was truly blessed with these great people to work with and a congregation to work with and great friends that I got to know. I want to thank all the board members, previous and present, and I also want to thank all the parents. I have enjoyed getting to know you all and spending time with your children. Sometimes over the years, I have had more than one of your kids to enjoy. I want to thank Bridget for the last years and wish her the best in her future. I know our friendship will continue throughout our life. Now we will get to our presentations. Please hold your applause until the end. Also, parents, when we say your child's name, please stand up so they can see you. You are welcome to take pictures, and your child will come and sit with you after they get their certificate. Are your kids ready? Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's begin. Our morning class, Kaya Bacchus, daughter of Rod and Kristen Bacchus. And parents, parents, you can come forward for pictures if you need to. Micah Bunker. Micah Bunker. Micah. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Chris Bunker. Juniper Henners. Daughter of Joe and Ashley Henners. <laughs> Kinsley Henners. Daughter of Jason Henners and Mindy Graham Henners. Fletcher Linen, son of Greg and Katie Linen. Waylon Martin, son of John and Annie. Kason Renzi, son of Brad and Nicole Renzi. Yeah. 
Jed Rieselman, son of Robert and Megan Rieselman. <laughs> Paisley Stroberl, daughter of Brian and Rachel Stroberl. Lane Thompson, son of Chris Betts and Bailey Thompson. Judson Wall, son of Nate and Katie Wall. Okay, now the afternoon class will be next. Garrett Blackford, son of Nate and Jesse Blackford, was unable to attend tonight. Ethan Blair, son of Jessica McKinney and Jamie Blair. Samuel Klaus, son of Derek and Jenny Klaus. Isaiah Connor, son of Pastor Jonathan and Rebecca Connor. Wyatt Grable, son of Isaac and Courtney Grable. <laughs> Maya Jorgensen. Daughter of Jesse and Christina Jorgensen. Bentley Crop, son of Nathan Crop and Joanna Bloom. Isaac Miners, son of Zachary and Carissa Miners. Scarlett Ramsey, daughter of Michael and Pamela Ramsey. Bennett Reesberg, son of Joe and Alyssa Reesberg. <laughs> Callan Stribe, son of Dan and Wendy Stribe.
That takes care of our 2020 to 21 class. Let's give them all a hand of applause. All right, they did such a good job. Good job, boys and girls. All right, I have some thank yous to say tonight. I want to say thank you to all of the parents for their support and prayers. Um, we want to give, have you guys give a round of applause, too. Good job. See, it was a challenging year, but we made it. So thank you very much. And thank you for letting us be a part of your children's learning and uh, working with us through this difficult year. Uh, we want to thank Pastor for his weekly chapel time. Uh, the children loved coming up here and getting to uh, learn about Jesus and, and getting to be with Pastor. And uh, it was just a wonderful time of bonding. I want to thank Shannon. Uh, she's the receptionist in the church, but she's... Uh, was willing to help out in a pinch. There were a couple days where we needed someone to come down and help us quick, and she was very willing uh, and able to come help us, and we appreciate that. Um, is Cindy Carson here? Oh, she, I didn't see her walk in. Okay. Cindy Carson uh, has, was a volunteer uh, who volunteered to drive children from the daycare to the preschool and back, um, and she has done that for gosh, how many years? Three years now? And uh, I know that that's been really meaningful to a lot of parents and uh, really meaningful to us at the preschool. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to be here tonight, but um, hopefully she sees this later and we, she can hear that we thank her for uh, her help and, and um, that we really appreciate her. Um, we want to thank the preschool board. Uh, that's Janet Smith. Uh, and she, they're going to stand as I say their names. Janet Smith, Carrie Raniger, Jamie England, and Courtney Grable. So we thank them for their service on the preschool board, uh, all the work that they put into the, to the preschool, and their continuing work uh, as they go forward. I want to thank, uh, thank you guys. <laughs> Uh, thank Janice for all the work that she's done for the preschool uh, and the children and for me. I, I've relied on her a lot to help me remember and, and double check everything that I've done because she remembers things that I didn't know I forgot. So I really appreciate her. Uh, she's faithfully served Zion Preschool for eight years and now will be retiring and enjoying that with her husband and grandchildren. Uh, so we just thank Janice for all the time that she's put into the preschool and all the, the love that she's put into it. So thank you, Janice. Um, I want to thank my husband and children uh, for the hours that uh, I put in at home and for being understanding and supportive for me and the preschool. Uh, after five years of mission work through Zion Preschool, I've made the hard decision to leave the school and focus on my family and my pet grooming business. Um, so I'm going to miss, miss the preschool, but I'm glad that I'll be able to still see the children uh, through the community and get to watch them grow uh, since I live here in Manning. So that's a wonderful thing that I still get to see them and I'll still hear teacher as I'm going through town. So. Uh, even if I'm not their teacher currently, sometimes I still do that. I still get that. So, um, and we thank God for another year done and that we survived and everything went so smoothly. So, uh, Janet Smith was going to come up and say a few words for the board. I'm going to let Rebecca Connor first uh, give a little talk. Yep. All right, I'm Rebecca Connor, better known as Isaiah's mom. And um, we're up here just as representatives tonight of all the preschool families this year, morning and afternoon. 
Um, we just wanted to say thank you so much for everything you've done. It's been a crazy year and you kept it going. Um, I know that everyone here, we love our kids so fiercely, but I might not be the only one who doesn't sometimes wish my preschooler didn't display quite so much personality. And so we want to say thank you to Bridget and Janice. You not only put up with our kids, but you love them and nurtured them. And um, you gave them the greatest gift. You, you told them about Jesus. So, so we just have a couple gifts here for you. And just our thanks. If we can have another round of applause for our teachers. And I can't remember if I said that's from all the families, morning and afternoon classes, just so. Yes, thank you. There's not much more for me to say after that, except on behalf of the board, this has been an incredibly difficult year. And we have required you guys as parents to be very flexible. And we thank you for that because DHS making changes, COVID, and, and so, Again, we really, really appreciate your flexibility because it was a tough year. We also appreciate your input. Um, this has been a changing year, and we had to go from two days, but the plan was to go back to three days. And um, we have not found the teacher that can work for 29 hours. Um, we're looking for, they're looking for more hours and more benefits, and so we have decided to expand to four days a week. Um, and that, in turn, is good in it. the input helps us with determining hours that are going to be more family friendly, hopefully help with transportation. And um, so we're advertising now for that teacher for four days a week. We've got a couple of really good associate applicants. And so once we find that teacher, we'll get more word out to you. In the meantime, again, we thank th um, Pastor. Shannon is the bridge when you call in to get to the preschool, and these two. Um, Bridget, you couldn't ask for a more, number one, godly person who loves God, loves Jesus, and that's what we're trying to get to our children. Um, she also has an incredible knowledge about the Bible and God, and you wouldn't think that is extremely important when you're working with three-year-olds, but you'd be surprised, or maybe you're not. But the things they ask and the things that she can implant in their lives for now and in the future, um, so important. So we're busy praying and we ask for your prayers to find our next preschool teacher. We have a gift for her from the board. You'll see it as you walk out, but she, we want to make sure she remembers all of us, so we've got her nice metal dog that she can set outside her dog grooming business. And um, again, she'll think of you as she sees that. Um, Janice, uh, again, she's been here a lot of years, brings a heart full of Jesus, love for children, and so... We've got some good candidates to replace her, but again, it's, it's going to be hard to see her go. We appreciate Dave, her husband, for his support, letting her come down from Denison all these years, and even with him retiring, so thank you. And for her, from the board, we have a peace lily. Um, to imagine the peace and quiet she's going to experience now that she's not around all these beautiful little children and some gift certificates. So again, we thank you. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate uh, all the support that we've gotten from everyone uh, this year. Um, thank you. I want to invite everyone to join us for a snack, and I wanted to mention that we have gifts for the children, um, and we will direct you there. They each get a gift and a balloon that's attached to it, and at the end, we have extra balloons on tables and stuff, so you know, if siblings want to pick one up, uh, once we're all done, then uh, the balloons can go. Um, but we need to say one last snack prayer. Can everyone fold their hands? Fold your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for our food. 
for our food and for all our blessings and for all our blessings amen amen and we need to sing one more goodbye song can everyone raise their hand way up high Goodbye, 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 my friends, to you. May God be with you in your day in all you say and do. Goodbye. Thank you very much, and let's go eat.